Ladies and gentlemen, from the director of Neuro's Mighty Oatmeal comes the next feature-length film, Neuro's Gamer Meal Prep Burrito Bowl Blazing Edition. Look here, and you can see all of the ingredients. You need brown rice, black beans and corn, cheese, avocado, sauce, tikka masala, something, chicken, that's frozen chicken, and then hot sauce, and rice cooker. And I'm going to take you through step by step, and we're going to make this shit. And you might be saying, but no, I don't know shit about cooking, and I don't even know the difference between a stove and an oven. That's okay. I'm here to help. This is what we're going to do. Step one. Put this down. Step two. Move the shit that's not rice out of the way. Is this rice? It's not. It's cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We get the bag of rice. First thing you have to do is figure out how to open this. It's made of plastic. You could use scissors. If you tear this bag open, rice will go everywhere and you'll feel very silly. See this? See this? Ta da! Okay. Now we're going to take the hat off this guy. But we keep this in. This stays in. We just put some in. Some people are like, should you do one cup? Should you do two cups? Man, we're gamers. Who cares? Let's put some rice in. Here, let's take a look at that. I put in this much rice. How much is that? Who cares? Let's put some water in now. You're supposed to rinse it over here. You're supposed to rinse the rice where you kind of fill it up and then you do this. Make sure the rice stays in but the water gets poured out. Like this. Sometimes I don't do that if I'm feeling particularly degen. It's not a big deal. There are a lot of dangers that can befall a person. The rice not being rinsed enough times, I don't think it's that dangerous. Okay, so we rinsed it twice. And the end result is something like this. Did you measure the water, Neuro? No, I didn't. But the rice is submerged and there's, yeah. There's about twice as much water as rice. That's fine. We'll call it good there. Let me put this in here. Pretty easy. Let me put this on. Wow. Then we push the button. And this rice cooker is so intelligent that whenever the rice is done, it will make a clicking sound and it will turn off automatically. If you want to be super safe about stuff, you can unplug the rice cooker when it's done. But so far, I've trusted this thing and it tends to work. Highly recommend this item. Really easy. But that's all you have to do. You can put salt in that or something. I'm sure that some gourmet chef has a great idea of what to do with this, but who cares? We're gamers. Okay. Let's throw this away. Okay. All right. Now let's get to business. What else do we need to do? This is gonna take like, I don't even know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Let's take a peek. Okay, nothing has happened yet, but it's warm enough. Don't touch this part, it'll get hot. Just put that down for a second. Okay, let's talk about the other ingredients here. I got this for a sauce. It's tikka masala, Indian simmer sauce. This recipe is called a burrito bowl. 
I don't even really care. I mean, this is a sauce that tastes good. So put it with your rice dishes. That's basically the extent of my logic here. We've got some cans here. This is a bit of a technical quest because this one has this, which you can just open and then access this can, but this one does not. So you get a little bit of a puzzle here and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a technique. This is called a can opener. And what this thing does is it's able to rest this top piece off of this can here, and then you can access the contents inside. So let's just practice this here. We'll just open these cans while we're waiting for this rice to cook. I'm trying to put this camera somewhere. Due to budget cuts, I don't have an official cameraman for this, so I'm doing the camera work and the cooking here. Okay, so this one's pretty easy. You just use your, your strength and your toughness. See that? Look at that. Wow. Great, great access there. And we're gonna lift this just a bit. And there's a bunch of liquid in here too. And we're gonna go and we're gonna get this liquid out without pouring out all the beans. Let's go to the sink. See this? We pour this out. <clears throat> Some people might be like, wow, no, that's gross. That's just, that's how cans of beans work. And these beans are very healthy for you, so you can only complain so much. Okay, so that one's good to go. Now we're gonna work on this buddy over here. We get to be entertained by the rice cooker. The rice cooker is basically like a simple robot that does your bidding. Okay. I'll show you this one. This, this is a very important technique. So you punch through it with the cutting part, and then you squeeze this here, and then you turn this. And sometimes it comes off a little bit. You just try it again. And you want to go all the way around. Look at that. Wow. People have been doing this technique for 100 years, probably. Look at this. It worked! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! We spilled. It's okay. I'm just holding the lid on with my finger while we're getting the liquid out. Great. We'll call it good. So, now we have corn. Be careful not to cut your finger on the the edge of this, it can be sharp. Okay. We throw that away. <clears throat> and now we have beans and corn. Wow. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This is super cheap stuff, and it's pretty healthy for you. At least legend says. So this this has got like more vitamins this one is mainly for flavor the corn is fairly sweet so if you put this in there it's going to sweeten the deal a little bit but the sugar is still bonded to fiber right because it's kernels of corn you're not just eating granulated sugar that makes it healthy right i guess so i don't know i'm not a dietitian or nutritionist but these are the super healthy ones and people have said if you put together brown rice and black beans you get a complete protein and I don't know what that means, but I've heard that it's really good. So maybe you should do that too. Okay. Now we've got the chicken, we've got the avocado, and we got the sauce. We don't have to do anything with this aside from put it on at the end. So you can see over here. Let's get to work with this. This is a cutting board. This is a knife. This is a ceramic knife. There are many different kinds of knives. The point is it needs to work. Okay. I hold the avocado. I will now demonstrate how to cut an avocado. There's a sticker on here sometimes. Be careful of that, you don't want to eat that. So I'm holding it like so. 
I cut it across the top. There's a cut there. One, that. And we're going to cut the opposite side so that it just opens all the way. I'm going to try to do the same kind of cut. And hopefully they meet up. Now we'll try to open it. Hey, that's a pretty heckin' good avocado. It can be a little bit difficult to tell when an avocado is ready. One of the methods that I recommend is trial and error. Because you're like, is it squishy enough? Is it ready? Sometimes it's not ready. And you open it and it's like way too underripe. And it's not tasty. Well, you learned. Other times it's way too squishy. And it's practically rotten. And you open it and you say, oh God, that's learning. And the important thing is in the kitchen, you can just learn a little bit as you go. I'm going to take the seed out of this thing here. We don't, I don't usually eat the seed. Avocados have huge seeds. <clears throat> okay, so that's all set. What we can do with these is use a fork to scoop out the, the stuff on the inside. And we're gonna put that into the food. Okay, this is still working. How are you doing over here? Look at it go. There's little condensation stuff happening up here. Okay, now we got chicken. And a lot of people are like, wow, there are way better options for chicken than this, Neuro. You should get chicken breasts refrigerated and cook them in butter and stuff. Man, sure, dude, but ain't nobody got time for that. I'm gonna show you all how to do it with the microwave. Here you go. So it's frozen chicken, but we're going to unfreeze it without using the stove or the oven. Just get some chicken. I like to put enough chicken for one meal, and then we can use the leftover rice, beans, and corn and put them into these bad boys. And then you can put them in the refrigerator over the longer term, and that way you can make one, two, three, four, five. Wait, is that three or two? You can make four meals for yourself. Or five, if you also want to make a meal for right then. This is crazy value. I'm gonna put this in here. For two minutes. And this is still going. God knows how long this is going to take. What the heck is this? You live in this place, Nero? Yeah, man. Somehow I've survived. Okay, that's cooking away. Cooking in quotation marks, by the way. Uh, shout out to anyone who's like a legit gourmet chef or they know what they're doing in the kitchen. Uh, I wanna say that I'm proud of you. I'm very impressed. And I'm uh, excited to hear any backseat cooking you have in the comments because it's all to feed the great algorithm, isn't it? We've got another whole minute on this. It's fine, this is still going. Wow, Nero, you did a continuous video of how to make the meal, even though the rice cooking takes forever? Yeah, I'm crazy like that. We can put this back in the freezer. Oh, what else do you have in your freezer, Nero? Look at this. Frozen blackberries, you can put that in the oatmeal. See the other gamer meal prep video for Nero's Mighty Oatmeal. What else is this? Fish? Frozen broccoli. What are these? Waffles? Who cares? This is All Might. He's a character from a show. <clears throat> Have you seen this? This is called Mad Dog 357. 750,000 Scoville units. 
It'll burn your face off. I would not recommend this to everyone, but if you're crazy like me, you could have it. The chicken is done. Look at that, all steamy and exciting. I'll put it on the cutting board. Now we're gonna cut it. I'm gonna put this down to practice good knife safety. Or at least decent knife safety. Chop it. Chop it. Chop. Chop it. You can almost hear Gordon Ramsay saying it's fucking raw off in the distance. But it's not. The thing about this frozen chicken is that it was pre-cooked, so all we really did was reheat it. Look at that, that's good to go. We can just grab this and then like put it into the, the dish whenever the rice is done. Whenever the rice is done. Who knows when that'll be. Well, usually at this point of the build, you can go do something else. Let's go do something else. Ain't nobody wanna just watch the rice cook. You get to see the game studio. That's way more fun. Just don't look at my passwords. We're good. This monitor, actually the problem, I'll show you the problem. You get some bonus tech support here. The problem is this thing here. This is a display port cable, which has not been very cooperative with my main monitor here. So whatever, we're living the two monitor life right now in the fall. This is called a Kenku. I need more spots for this. That works. Oh, shit. And we're back to the action. This rice cooker has been cooking away for over 35 minutes. And the rice should be done any time now. You can see the smoke is just billowing out. Well, it's not smoke. If it was smoke, that would be a problem. It's steam, technically. If you want to get technical. Never can you roll your R's. Never can you roll your R's. I don't know if I can roll my R's. Wait. I just rolled my R's. Heckin' for Pete's sake, I'm just trying to catch this click moment. We had all this lead up. I was hyping it up. And then I was like, you know what? I can just wait until it's done. But then... Uh, but then you wouldn't get to know what it's... Uh. So here I am. Just trying to fill time. Like in the early game of a ZVP in Heart of the Swarm, when the two players just open with a macro build and you know nothing is going to happen. Oh! It's ready! Oh! Look at that! Gorgeous! Okay, now we got to stir this so it doesn't get too stuck to the sides. Just stir this around. Beautiful. Excellent. All right. We've got a good bit of brown rice here. Look at that steam coming off. That's amazing. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to divvy this up. Because we've got a lot of the main ingredients all set now. We were just waiting on the rice, which took forever. Okay, let's get this. We'll get this. Give you a wide angle on this one. 
Okay. The first thing that you want to do is get your get your meal that you want to have. So here's a bowl. You could do a plate as well. It doesn't matter. We're gamers. You want to be careful not to touch your hand on the this. You can burn yourself. So use some heat safety. I'll just use this scooping thing. Get a scoop of rice here. Let's say this is a decent amount. You can use this to make dinner for multiple people, or we can do it this way, as I'll show you here, and you meal prep it, where you divide it amongst different Tupperware containers. So we got some rice. This is for a meal for now. And then Tupperware. Put a couple scoops in each of these. Perfect. That one's good. How much rice did you use? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I never actually measure it, so why would I measure it for the video telling you how to do how I do it? Okay, these two are good. Move out of the frame. We'll do these. It doesn't matter whether your Tupperware are circular or rectangular. I would say just go with your instincts with that one. If you're more of a, let's make a circle Tupperware kind of a person, more power to you. It's 2021, people can Tupperware. So we've got rice in each of these. Ah! Perfect. And this is empty now. We got most of all the rice out of here. Great. So that's good. We can wash that later. And now we just do a super easy step here of beans and corn. Look at this. You get a little bit of corn. You get a little bit of corn. Did you get some corn? You get some corn? These are the rectangular ones, just proof. Great. And this one. Oh my gosh. Okay. We got a little bit more. Let's just divide it until we're out. Great, that's done. And now the beans, the beans, put some in here, put some in here, put some in here. Oh my goodness. That's way too much. Put some in here and then put some in here. And now we have to do some damage control because I put way too much in one of them. And we'll use this scooping implement here, whatever it was called. It does have some rice on it, but that's part of the dish anyway, so I'm not too worried. Let's just get some of this. Just make sure that the, the beans are evenly distributed roughly. Okay, that's fine. All right, so now we have all of these prepped with rice, beans, and corn. And we can just put this, 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 all the Tupperware in the fridge. And then we can finish the other dish. So this has a prep step, which would be cooking the rice and then getting the black beans and corn buddies with them. And then there's the storage step. I'm putting these in Tupperware and then you can put those in the fridge once they cool down. And then we have the actual meal enjoyment step, which involves the last steps of prep here. Great. Set. So those can all go in the fridge. And it's really easy. You can just repeat this next step I'm going to show you uh, with each of these whenever you heat those up. So let's do the final steps here. We've got this. Oh, let's also put half of the avocado away. 
I have another Tupperware thing. Look at Nero out here, just a big shell for Tupperware. They didn't sponsor me. This video is sponsored by Local City Tap Water. Stop drinking that damn stuff where they just pour tap water into plastic bottles and sell it to you. Just drink it from the tap if it's clean in your city. So this is this is Tupperware up. This in the Tupperware file. That's pretty glorious actually. Look at all that meal prep. All right, next step here. We've got this. And there's the chicken from before. Let's get this here. This is great. Chicken is here, perfect. All right, now we're gonna get crazy here. This is about to get crazy, are you ready? You're not ready. Okay, I'll give you a second to get ready. So we got some salt. I got a brand new container of iodized salt. And it is said that iodized salt has iodine in it, which is a necessary nutrient. I would say that's, uh, that's something worth investigating. But that's whatever. What's your favorite kind of salt? So we have salt here now. Let's get some sauce. This is the tikka masala. Tikka masala, just get, let's just go for it. Just open the lid, strength check. Easy. What's your strength level, chat? In D and D terms, from one to twenty. We got sauce. Perfect. And we'll put this into the fridge. Good job, sauce. We didn't even have to make a sauce. That's why it's for gamers. Okay. Now this is the danger step, which you don't have to do this, but I do this to myself because I'm. I'm a little bit weird. This is a Mad Dog. You could use Cholula or just anything that ups the spiciness level. A lot of these ingredients go well with some spice. But this is basically like bear spray, but in a sauce. You can just put a couple drops on. Look all that good. Yeah, sometimes I pour way too much and then you'll see me like Needing to blow my nose because my nose is running and everything. And that's, that's fun. I take it as a challenge. Okay, so let's, let's get some cheese here. Mixed cheese. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Cheese is ready. And now we're going to microwave it all together just so everything is at an even temperature. The beans and corn were just taken from the can. So we'll put it in there for a minute. That's just gonna go for a minute, that's fine. We can put this in the fridge. Okay. We can put this in the fridge too. And once that's good, we're gonna do the final trick, which is this. We need a fork. What the fork? You can't say that word. Fork. I like having fun names for stuff. Like, fork. That's, that's a pretty easy, simple word. But if you say fork, that's way more fun. Look at that. Look at that code S timing. All right, we got this. Now, it's time to scoop. We're gonna scoop some of this, some of this good stuff. It, just, it doesn't need to be perfect. Just grab it, scoop it. I would say this avocado, if I had to rate it, it's very slightly less ripe than I would prefer but it was close enough to do the video. And it was weighing, should I procrastinate? 
and not make the video. Sometimes the edge of the little seed thing gets in there, but that's fine. Who cares? Yeah, I was weighing it against procrastinating. But the tricky thing with procrastinating is sometimes if you procrastinate long enough, then you forget that you're even doing the thing. So sometimes it's best to just ship it at 80%. Maybe it's not going to be the best, but if you don't do it, then it's going to be a 0%. Anyone who's had grades in school knows that 80% is better than 0%. Good job, microwave. Now the next step here is fairly important. If you have avocado here on the top, this was not present whenever things were salted. So I'm just going to put a little bit more salt on the top. Salt can make the flavor of the avocado really pop. Just a touch. A touch of salt. And we can stir it up here. Look at this. Excellent. The flavor. The vitamins. I bet this has a lot of vitamins. You could do a different sauce here if you wanted to, but this is basically the main idea. You've got a base of brown rice, you've got corn, you've got some black beans, you've got an avocado, and you've got some chicken. You could mix it up, you could do a different kind of meat if you wanted to. You could do no meat and do a, a non-meat alternative or something. You got some salt, you got a sauce, and you have some spice with the Mad Dog, or Cholula, or whatever weak or hot sauce that you might choose for yourself. And then for this stuff, we can just take one of these out of the fridge, cut up uh, this other half of the avocado, put in some new chicken, and then heck can heat it up and you're good to go. Well, hope you found this uh, episode of Gamer Meal Prep useful. It took a little bit longer than the other one, but we did create one, two, three, four, five separate meals for it. So either you could feed five people or you feed yourself five times. I'm going to eat this now. Let's get it. <laughs>